Hello everyone, we again come back to you by new channel Lotus Slating. Welcome to our channel. Uh, I hope you enjoy the this uh, channel specially made for slitting line, cut to lengths and steel processing. Today I want to show you one complete line. It's called slating combined with uh, cut to lengths. The thickness is up to 10 millimeter the width is up to 1700 millimeters as you can see just today this video this episode we made for how to start the machine with the new car some customer asked me once we have a new coil how much time it takes for run the machine and how we can reach the material from First, the coiler to the coiler and start it automatically. This video just I want to show you from the coiler. Once we put the coil on that, how we should uh, run it slowly by slowly, manually to reach it to first roller. We call it here uh, feeder roller and. After that, as you can see, it has a leveling, shearing. Five roller leveling is used for thick material, more than two millimeter. You need a, a straightening your raw material before the slating. So here you can see it has a support arm and or worker. Just feed the material manually to reach the feeder. Once it's reached to roller feeder, we release the R and it's going to through the machine. We don't have the first loop before the slitting for thick material because more once the material is too thick, you cannot bend it in high beats. So you can see before we already set up the R blade here based on our requirement size so now we are step by step going to slit it as you can see our worker this line is uh, installed in Jiangsu province it's made by Lotus and you can see this is just the first uh, moment after reaching the slitting shaft so the two worker take the strap uh, to the strap binder and install it manually. Okay, connect it together. You can see by hydraulic joint. Okay, now it's joined together. Now we can run the machine automatically. And uh, as you can see, strap binder start to work. Uh, and it's going to move, move to right to left automatically during the slitting. So up, uh, till now we reached the material to a slitting and now we're going to second loop. You can see we have one table, cover the loop. Here we subscribe us for more videos. Now I want to show you the tension before recoiler. This tension is really important for normally for less than three millimeter we use a tension pad and it has a hydraulic pressure on that to keep the material tight uh, once we recoil the material or worker here climb up the ladder go to check the put the material inside the all the uh, spaces that we already in stock Now we put it, we feed it manually to tension pad. You can see slowly by slowly we pass through the tension station. Now we reach the tension leveling. For high thickness, the tension pad doesn't work on the line. That's why we use a tension roller. These rollers is using for automatically high thickness uh, recoiler as you can see 
we have some automatic hydraulic table before recoiler shaft or worker rotating the recoiler and slowly by slowly we feed it to clamp ball this table is automatic hydraulic uh, table it, it can go and move forward to up and down and forward to the uh, close to the collar shaft I hope I can show you the clamper part yeah here a little manually we feed the material to reach the clamp position yeah okay exactly as you can see the little move by table to put all the material inside the clamp position so now we can take the table back table night work good for us we don't need it anymore okay move it back show you how it work and now is the time to clamp tight this line we uh, should have some screw on that to clamp it because uh, for different thickness the clamper sometimes doesn't clamp very tight now our worker making some tools to clamp the material as you can see on top of that we have a spacer uh, disc it moving down to separate the strips this material is 3 millimeter we moving a little down to make sure the position of each strip is in the proper position One more time. This is two in one line, a slitting and cut to length up to 10 millimeter. This is automatically very heavy duty line. I hope you get some uh, knowledge about the slitting and cut to lengths. If you have any requirement, please feel free to contact us. Now, okay. A worker. Make sure that all the strip is in the right position to go through the spacer disc. Yes, all in the proper position. Before we clamp, the material tight we need to make sure okay the spacer it works it's go through the strips okay now is the moment to clamp it tight and start to uh, recoil the material Here, we also have some roller and a spacer before. Uh, this is the what I talked to you and explained to you. Okay, we have one screw to tight and uh, clamp the material. Shearing and shearing, we have a two shearing on this line, one after first leveling and one after the final tension stand. Okay, now slowly by slowly we can move to automatic uh, run. Okay, now we're testing the one round, one round recall the material. We need the tension, we need to put the tension pad down to recoil it very tight. Ok, 
can see the tension was up and now we move it down we fit the first loop we prepare everything to start automatically for this line once we, we need to run it almost needed a, a four professional worker you can see up pad It needs the material we have a one pad top of that we also want have one, one pad and we put them on a uh, wooden sheet on that okay now we put down the tension state yes now slowly by slowly we're going to test automatically the line I show you the tension pad, the space before tension pad, and we put the table on the loop down to peel the loop for high speed, uh, higher speed, and automatically run. As you know, the slitter will slit the material and pull the loop and recoil or take it out from the loop so these two part the speed will be different Okay, slowly by slowly we move to automatically run. Yeah. I take in this video from top of the machine. You can see the loop is filled with, with the material, the beads of the row. Slowly by slowly, we start by automatically and we can increase the speed. Now the speed is almost 20 up to 30 meters per, per minute. We can reach to 50 or 60 meter per minute this recoiler capacity is up to 25 ton and strap winder automatically move left and right okay this video I will show you how we set up the slating for new coil once we put the raw material from the beginning to end, how we set up it, how we to put the material on that. So hope, hope, hope you enjoy it and you get some knowledge about the slitting. And don't forget to subscribe us. For any question or any requirement, feel free to contact us. If you like it, please press like and make a comment for us. Thank you. Bye.